JT, you rolling? Yes, I'm recording. All right, we're good to go. You guys are good. Anna, thank you for taking time for us. Of and course. Let me ask you, who is Anna Delvey versus, you know, who you were? Different name when you went into prison coming out. Um, I think I was always Anna Delvey. There's no difference. I don't have a split personality. <laughs> Describe to me the person you are now versus the person you were when you were going in. I feel like I'm the same person. Like, prison did change me a lot, but there is no difference between Anna Dalvio and a Sirakin. Then why the name change? Why not? <laughs> a lot of people say you can come out of prison being a better criminal than you were going in. I don't feel like I was a criminal to begin with, so I don't feel like I have the need to become a better criminal now. Do you accept that you committed fraud? No, I don't accept the fact that I committed any fraud. My case is still under appeal. They created the whole persona of me where like the prosecutors published this press release on the day I got arraigned. I feel like the media did me like a great injustice and I got punished for that because they felt like, oh, we need to make an example out of her. I felt like if I were to get no media, I would have probably gotten whatever, like a year. So what people don't realize, I could have gotten no jail time for the same crimes. So, and I got almost the max. My max would have been five to 15. I got in four to 12. It's good to see you. It's good to see you as well. Dr. Phil's also my boss, so yeah. I'll let you know. <laughs> well, in full disclosure, uh, I'm executive producer of Daily Mail TV, and we're partners with DailyMail.com, so there's a lot of uh, family here. That's right. Uh, now, you have interviewed Anna Delvey two times, exclusively for Daily That's Mail. Right, yes. And what was your overall impression? What I expected was someone who had been in about five different prisons, right, in four years, one of them being Rikers, one of the worst prisons in the country. So I expected someone that would come home humbled. Instead, what I got was full glamour, hair and makeup. You see Delvey Mail, she was trying to copy our Daily Mail logo, trying right. to hawk products. And someone who wasn't apologetic and really didn't feel like they had committed a crime. Let's take a look at a clip of the first interview. Okay. And even though Anna Sorokin was sentenced to four to 12 years in prison on one count of attempted grand larceny, three counts of, of grand larceny, four counts of theft of services, she claims she never intended to defraud anyone. This is a big misunderstanding. Take a look. You said, you know, you really don't feel like it was a crime. Elaborate why you feel that way. Like, I never had intention to defraud anyone, so in my head, like, whatever money I would have borrowed, it would have been repaid. So I felt like my mindset at the time when I committed the crime should count. And if the prosecutors really look closely at whatever I've done, they would have realized I never had this mindset. Plus, I was working to get a lease in Manhattan, so it's like I would have been tied to a like a permanent location. Plus, whatever money I would have gotten, it would have been going to directly to the landlord's account, or like it would have been held in escrow. So in my head, I was like, they could never charge me with anything like this because I would have seen like, what would be the motivation behind it? It's not like I would have gotten the loan and I would have had like whatever 30 million sitting in my bank account for me to shop, you know? Okay, now if you take what she just said and break it down, it's incredibly nonsensical. Yes. I lied, I deceived to get the money, but I was gonna give it to a landlord and there's a building you could see, so what's the big deal? I, I, I think in her mind that she believes this though. Oh, I, I, there's no doubt. She's believing everything she's telling you. She forged bank letters, she had fake email accounts from her family accountant. If she felt like these banks were dumb enough to fall for it, I will get the money and then I'll pay back everybody else I defrauded. But I think in Anna's mind, she thought, the system cheats people every day, so there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing. 